The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke chapter 7 beginning at the 36th verse. A certain Pharisee invited Jesus to dine with him, and he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. Now there was a sinful woman in the city who learned that he was at table in the house of the Pharisee. Bringing an alabaster flask of ointment, she stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to him, himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus said to him in reply, Simon, I have something to say to you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people were in debt to a certain creditor. One owed 500, 500 days wages, and the other owed 50. Since they were unable to repay the debt, he forgave it for both. Which of them will love him more? Simon said in reply, The one, I suppose, whose larger debt was forgiven. He said to him, You have judged rightly. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? When I entered your house, you did not give me water for my feet, but she has bathed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but she has not ceased kissing my feet since the time I entered. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with ointment. So I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. Hence she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. He said to her, Your sins are forgiven. The others at table said to themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. At the end of today's Gospel reading, Jesus says that it is the one who is forgiven little who shows little love. The woman who had broken into the meal at which Jesus was a guest had been forgiven much. She had earlier experienced God's forgiving and unconditional love towards her through the person of Jesus. Having been forgiven much, she loved much. Her outpouring of loving gratitude to Jesus was lavish in the extreme. In contrast, Jesus' host, a Pharisee, had been forgiven little, in the sense that he had no awareness of his need for the forgiveness of God that Jesus had come to offer. Having been forgiven little, he loved little, denying Jesus even the ordinary rituals of hospitality, no basin of water for Jesus to wash his feet, no kiss of greeting, no anointing of his head with oil. The woman's loving gestures more than compensated for the Pharisee's lack of love. The story reminds us that receiving comes before giving. The woman recognized that she had received much from God through Jesus, and so she gave much to Jesus in return. The Pharisee had received nothing from God through Jesus, and so he gave nothing to Jesus in return. We always come before the Lord as beggars, open to receive all those graces that only he can give, including the grace of God's forgiveness for our sins and failings. It is in learning to receive from the Lord in our poverty, like the woman, that we are empowered to give generously in gratitude for what we have been given.